This is the life. This is the life we chose. This is the life he chose, the path. Your life is not your own. You're a property of this entity, this Cosa Nostra that goes back hundreds of years. Your mind, it is the center of your life. It is everything you hear, everything you see. Everything you feel, it is everything you are. How would you know if someone stole your mind? This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything we need. Your life is not your own. You're a property of this entity. Dr. Ewan Cameron was president of the American and Canadian Psychiatric Associations. He ran the Allen Memorial Institute, which was founded in 1943 with funds from the Rockefeller Foundation. Nazi paperclip scientists made their way into the CIA and military-sponsored mind control programs here in the United States and Canada. Some of these scientists were friends of Dr. Cameron. Money for Dr. Cameron's operation came from the CIA and was funneled through the Cornell Society for the Investigation of Human Ecology. The systematic annihilation or depatterning of a subject's mind and memory was accomplished with overdoses of LSD, barbiturate sleep for 65 days at a stretch, and electroshock therapy at 75 times the recommended dosage. Psychic driving the repetition of a recorded message for 24 hours a day programmed the empty mind. The Canadian government settled a class action lawsuit by 250 former patients of Dr. Cameron decades later, but no person or institution has ever been disciplined or punished for these activities. Linda MacDonald was 25 years old in 1963 when Dr. Cameron treated her for mild postpartum depression she received 102 electroshock therapy treatments, 80 days of drug-induced sleep, and emerged completely depatterned, essentially like a newborn, totally incontinent, unable to state her name or recognize her husband and children. She had to relearn how to drive, cook, read, and use a toilet. Eventually, unlike many of Dr. Cameron's patients, she made a fairly complete recovery. Dr. Cameron was the premier psychiatrist of the 20th century. He had studied Nazi scientists at the Nuremberg trials and later replicated many of their methods and sought their assistance in the race to control the human mind. Dr. Cameron's mind control experiments were one program out of many programs run by the CIA, Navy, Air Force, Army, and others. Although many parallel programs were occurring in the United States, none of them were ever discovered or prosecuted. These programs were run by Dr. Morse Allen, Dr. L. Wilson Green, Dr. Martin T. Orne, Dr. Stephen Aldrich, Dr. James Hamilton, and others. These American and foreign-born programmers were supervised by Dr. Sidney Gottlieb, who was in turn supervised by Richard Helms and the director of the CIA, Alan Dulles. The middle children of history, man. 
this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. Alex Jones keeps saying we're a prison planet. There's a hexagon in the North Pole of Saturn, which is a cube. But there's... What they're coming up with now is they believe that there's a big cube in the center of the Earth. Now, I've got some pictures of some things that lend credence to the fact that there probably is something there, which would beg the question, is this why they keep going to the North and South Poles? Because if this thing is connected to that thing up there in the sky, then this would be some type of ancient apparatus that's been around for a long, long, long time. And as for the codes, you know, that I did the video on, you know, just stretch your imagination for a minute. What if this thing that's in the center of the Earth is, is like, a, like a, a, some type of highly sophisticated ancient computer from another time or another civilization that has a mind has a mind and a conscience and they know how to work it but they don't know how to work it exactly and that's what keeps us in time with Saturn see remember I said they're mimicking they're doing something something with Saturn you know now you got the thing you got time jumping forward 20 minutes in Italy Italy is called the land of Saturnia see there's something going on there's something down in there you'll see it in my video but I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that, that there's a cube sitting right in the center of this planet. And you'll see in the video where the scientists are saying that that thing is there. But I'm wondering if that is not the thing that keeps us a prison planet, which keeps us tied to this thing. And if they're jerking around with this thing, then they're throwing time and space out of, out of, out of uh, the way that it should be going. And it's creating these things, you know, like I was telling you that I was blaming this on Saturn. But this thing is, is connected, so they say, as above, so below. So is this, what's the, there's a connection here. There's definitely a connection, because the Jews have made it more, more than obvious in their writings that this, that this planet is directly li linked to Saturn. And I'm wondering if this is not the link. So when you see the video, you'll understand it. So, you know, I'll, I'll have that out later today. But, uh, you know, it's just getting more and more and more evidence that there's definitely a link between this planet and that and that planet you know and, and why everything here is a representation of that planet so i'll get that out to you i just wanted to do a little uh short little video
like it. It's yours. It always was. Bring me the cosmic cube. I so command. At last, it's mine. The ultimate power. Power which can convert thought waves into material action. There is nothing I cannot do. Nothing. Nothing. If there's any tampering, sir, it wasn't at this end. At this end? Yeah, the cube is a doorway to the other end of space, right? The Tesseract has awakened. And so the people that wield those and know how to do this, I told you a long time ago, TV and radio and telephones do not come from here. We have stations that are here. Go look at how many movies you'll see that Seal of Saturn. And I watched the movie the other day and just about every shot, just about every shot had the Seal of Saturn in it because it's holding them in that position. When are you gonna wake up? this shit to happen because you went to watch American Idol and you thought you could dance wanted to be a star. A star is a fallen angel. That's why they're called movie stars. 